the most prestigious event of every tournament of the year. It's the major, it happens now twice a year. And it's something you wanna you wanna perform in and you just wanna go big and show the world that your team is the best. Uh -huh. I think we as a major, we trying to focus ourselves like every day uh, with different manners. Uh, you have to be ready, you have to know what your game plan is and it, go, it, it can go very fast and so to me you have to show some specific strength in best of ones and that's why I, I kind of like this format. You have to be able to um, never lo lose the grip of the game and always stay in it and that's a quality that is quite hard to, to master for a lot of teams. So. Uh, I think it's pretty well balanced and um, although there is a factor of randomness regarding who you're going to face, you ha you're here to beat teams anyway. You're here to beat the, all the other teams to go through or to go and win the tournament. So. Boy, are we licking our lips at the prospect of this next match because it's two fantastic teams going head to head who have got some form between each other as well. Na'Vi versus G2. The remainder, just Kenius with 13 health and an AWP. What's he gonna do in this situation? A quick frag for him, he's found one. Now he's got just one more player to go. Seized coming in from A long. It's gonna be a very tough situation for Kenny. How could he possibly predict where Seize will arrive onto the A bomb site front? For Seize to rear his head, but it's only one bullet that needs to be connected now to take down Kenny as he can't possibly be caught off guard here. He's taking a good position to do that. Oh, no! and that's what you'd like to see from Kenny S up to Apex. Man himself with the AK-47. The kid at the moment needs to be quick about this one as he looks for his opponents. And this is such a hard position to play off of. Gets the first frag here, but he has to go for the commit, surely. I mean, he's in such an unwinnable spot, but difficult in those spots to make it work, but he made it look confident. We're going to rely on Kenny to deal with the players from long. Able to take down one. There's more where that came from, though. But for Kenny, no! it is simply too easy. So we won the first match against Navi, that was our revenge from Cologne. We really wanted this win and we struggled to have it since we had to come back from 12 to 3. So it was pretty hard. Going to Cologne 9 and we were up to 1 1. We knew we definitely had to win it. He's ready for this one. G2 and Cloud9 in a best of one here for the PGL Major. And they actually get the shot on him. That's very unfortunate. Now he has to fall back. A bit of panic here. Shroud gets a kill, but they turn their back. And that will be a kill for Body. And Apex following up with the C set. 75 for the double. Now it's all falling apart here. Shocks with the Deagle. Cloud9. They had a pretty good opening. They just didn't check the corners. Patient. And now nothing. He's trying to make a dash. No! Shots is headed to nine with the UMP. Shroud still alive, not gonna find the last kill, but it's still a 1v2 that should favor his teammates. Skadoodle has everything he needs here. Ooh, automatic, he definitely doesn't have to worry about anything more. God, Kenny, that's the third kill. Oh no, smoke is gonna go up. There's a bounce right on top, he taps it once, then goes for the long play. Kenny doesn't realize that he's not inside the smoke. On top, no, he's dead! He's going to make go he's he's gonna pick it up. Again, Shroud. Now would be a great time to step it up. He fakes it once, 18 seconds, almost gets Apex through the door. And he's trying again, tapping away. Shroud gets one. Oh, two health left on Apex. Oh my God, he's got the triple. He's got the bomb card with nine seconds left. And Apex is scared right now, hiding behind the rock. He's already been faked out once. Shroud needs a single bullet to do this. But no, 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 no. Automatic with the refrank. Kenny trying to get back, but he's flashed. He can't see a single thing, and he's going to be down now. It's Body taking two big frags, going for the spray, and that's it. 1917 G2 making through in overtime against Cloud9. Uh, it was a really tough game because uh, I guess a lot of teams just ban Kerbal against us because they know it's our best map. And by picking it, uh, they definitely had a plan. Uh, against us and they knew how we played and they just played a manner to counter it. We knew it would be hard but I guess we didn't think like it would be that hard to be honest. They played really good and they play exactly how to counter our, our setups.
we still want to improve. Uh, we are watching uh, every game here at the event. I mean, our game specifically. Uh, Smith and Niklas and KG are, are analyzing it and we are making a debrief every morning uh, to make sure uh, what mistakes we made, we're not going to do it again in the tournament. So even if we won today, we're still going to watch the demo and we're still going to debrief it and analyze it, because it's really important. Uh, then going up to tomorrow, uh, our mind is just like we are 2-1, that's good. Uh, the objective for today is complete and uh, now our objective tomorrow is like we got two chance to go to the playoff we just have to take the chance and we can't lose twice walk in and a crossfire already set to get shocked but they won't expect the two players to be there so body from the boost finds both it's on device, a WP, Ooh. hits MBK already, but pushed by the Flames. Apex will get round three for G2. Apex is trying to keep his vision, but is in the corner. In the corner and not detected. First kill goes his way after Shocks gets Glaive. Follows on the bomb, it's dropped library side as well, which means it's in the vision of the CTs as they push through from Moto. Apex is baiting out a lot of attention and a lot of shots that allow Shocks to get closer. It's only Zipix, it'll be back-to-back -back rounds for G2. He can clutch it. He's going Whoa. for it. He's got the first shot and he got the second as well. For us today's game, it was a bit weird. Even if we lost 16 6, we didn't feel that it was a different game. We just lost like 5 1 on 1 or 1 on 2 or 1 on 3, and that was really hard to lose this round. So basically, that started to be pretty bad. We were 2 2, and then we faced Fnatic. And I uh, know pressure took us, or we just didn't play our A game. And I guess the really principal problem, in my opinion, uh, is uh, I would say like we need to be more a team, uh, not necessarily outside the game, but more inside the game. We let, we let too much space about the individual stuff and we need to definitely focus more on self, ourselves on the team things uh, and thinking like a team, not thinking like we are one plus one plus one, but we are five, uh, we make a unity and we just need to get our mind like whatever happened on the server, we just need to do everything we can as a team. If I can just summarize everything, like I think we just didn't show up. We showed a really bad face, a tired face, and a shaky face. We are shaky, tired, and didn't just show up. I'm always staying with the team, so I hope they will make it uh, every event I'm doing for them. I'm, I'm sad too when they lose, but I think they will. it's a strong team for sure, so they will keep um, playing, keep trying, and we will still support them for the next events and stuff. So. Uh, the most important thing is patience, of course, because uh, you know you can lose a lot of uh, majors, but you can win as uh, so a pro league, green hack. You are building your mental strength. We take holidays right now, even if in a, in our hearts we don't deserve it, but we need it because it was a really tough and hard walk, like all along the road. The holidays is just here, not for pleasure, it's just for refuel, you know. Just be motivated again, having the passion, the little flame, you know, inside our hearts. Like, why we play CS, and how we should play CS, and why we are competitors. And Relaxing is really important because if you give your best for half of the year, you're playing a lot, etc., you just you're just tired at the end of the, of the year, so I'm gonna just not think about the game for like one or two, year, two weeks to just to, to relax and then just gonna give 
my, personally can give my best for for the next half of season and just play as much as possible play better as a team give, get a better team play and just give my best to to back at the at the very top because it's what we want and we were really upset so we don't want to to have the same feeling that we had here this class has been really devastating uh, probably the most heartbreaking one we ever had um, so I think to prepare the future, um, we're going to be fine anyway, but we have to keep that uh, pain inside us and just remember it when you are just like, of, we are lacking of motivation or just feeling a bit off, uh, which can happen and it happens to everyone. So yeah, I think what is important is that to never forget uh, the pain.